Hey everyone, this is Tamil, and in today's video, I want to show you how to add menu tabs to your WordPress site. Now, here I have on my home page several menu tabs. I've got the home tab, the about tab, resources consulting, and I'm sure you've pretty much seen this before. You can hover over these tabs and have subcategories, which really makes it easy for people to find your content. So I want to show you how to create those tabs right now. So let's jump right in. So if you are inside of your WordPress dashboard, this is where you should be. One of the things that you need to have before you create these menu tabs is you need to have categories. Now, if you don't know how to create categories, I recently created a video on how to create categories in WordPress. So if you don't know how to do this and you don't have any categories right now, then make sure you learn how to do it because you definitely will need it to create menus. So I'm going to show you right now where you can go to create those categories. And then I'm going to jump right in to show you how to create menu tabs. So on your WordPress dashboard, you're going to go over to posts and then you're going to go to categories, click on categories, and it's going to take you here to this page. And this is where you're going to begin to create those categories. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go through how to create it because I created a video on it step by step. So you can go and check that video out right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the point to show you how you create those menu tabs. So once you create your categories, then you can start from this point right here. So now the next thing that you want to do once you have created your categories is you want to go over here to the left, scroll down where it says appearance and click on menus. All right. So now that we are where we want to be, which is creating some menus. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see right here in the middle of the page where it says create a new menu. This is what you want to do. Go ahead and click on that. Now, after you've created a new menu, we want to give our menu a name. So you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it new menu. And then you can scroll down here to the right hand corner and you're going to see where it says create menu. Go ahead and click on that. All right, so now that you have your menu created, here's where we need to go. All right, so now that you have your menu created, we need to go and find those categories that you created. Scroll down over to the left where it says add menu items. If you look down here, you will see where it says categories. Go ahead and click on that downward arrow. Now these are the categories that I have already. I have one subcategory, which is falling under network marketing success. And you're going to see it says MLM leads. So I just want to show you how this works. I'm going to click on both of those and I'm going to click right here where it says add to menu. So I'm going to go ahead and add that there. Now that you see this, what you're going to see is these two looking as if they're just regular categories, but because this MLM leads is a subcategory, I want to go ahead and move it over. So now you see that it is moved over a little bit from underneath the network marketing success. And that's the way we want it. So you can see right here where it says sub item because that's what it is. Next, I want to scroll down a little bit because we want to make sure that we save this. So once you have all of your subcategories, and like I said before, you can have more than one. So let's say that when you created your categories, you created three or four or five subcategories, they would just fall up underneath all of these. So you would have all four of them as subcategories. So what I did right here is I just created one to make this video very simple. Now that you have everything in place, the very last thing that you need to do is you need to make sure you check this box, which says primary menu. So we want to go ahead and add that to the main menu navigation. So once everything is done, then go ahead and hit save to menu. I'm going to head back to the home page to show you exactly how this looks. Let's go up here to the top where it says mailbox money blog. I'm going to open this up in a new tab so that I can see the home page. There you see it right here. It says network marketing success and the drop down for it is MLM leads. Now you can have as many of these as you want. I mean, if you want to have, you know, affiliate marketing, don't, it doesn't matter what type of business you have. If you're, you know, starting a blogging business and you're selling products, you can have all of your main menus going across here and you can have drop down. Uh, tabs or subcategories for them as well. And it makes it very easy for people to navigate through. So you can have like three or four drop down subcategories here, and you can have three or four menus going across. But this is how you add a menu and a sub item to your WordPress site. 
Okay everyone, make sure that you give me a thumbs up for this video and also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Now guys, I've been creating a ton of videos here on my channel. So if you like what you heard, make sure that you check out my more recent videos just like these for WordPress, how to create categories for your WordPress website and a ton of other WordPress tutorials that I have on my channel. Guys, I'm all about you, you know, creating an online business and having the tools to do so. So make sure that you check out more videos that I have here and uh, come back and check me out again. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.